For Teresa and her family, making it to payday is a struggle. We live by a fortnight to fortnight. Like we, um, we pay rent, we buy food, we pay for power. Teresa currently pays $78 a fortnight for her four-bedroom house, which she lives in by herself. But Teresa and other residents of the small community of Bell Ewan have now been told that as of next month, rent will be calculated on the number of bedrooms and not as a percentage of income. Now this new thing come in, my rent going to go up to $560. Territory Housing says a short-term safety net will be applied for people like Teresa, but could not say how tenants could have it applied or for how long it would last. We're not sure what's going on. We hear bits and pieces, but we need to hear from Territory Housing themselves. Teresa's brother Les is the head of his household, but says the new head tenant model won't be possible without proper consultation. No, nah, it's not going to work that way. We need to, they need to sit and talk to the, all of us in the house. The Department of Housing says the reforms will simplify rental payments and reduce administrative costs. But here in Bell Ewan, where average income is around $690 a week, just how simple life will be with the reforms remains to be seen. Everyone different with their circumstances with payment, 400 and something fortnight, that's all our paychecks um, going on to rent. For Angelina, Sandra and Linda, life is about more than bills. We like to buy good food. We like to um, go out camping, travelling, like to another community for sports or whatever, just to break the, the stress. We don't want to be living here and just paying for rent. Small dreams in a small town. Oliver Chasling, ABC News.